Okay, thanks, David. I'm actually going to be talking about the res some of the research activities of the uh, Sustainability Society and Health Research Group. So um, there'll be a few projects that I'll, I'll talk about. So what I'd like to do to begin with is kick off with a quick straw poll. So hands up if you have a digital camera. Okay, a laptop, mobile phone. Any of you willing to give up your laptop? <laughs> <laughs> Not many. How about your mobile phone? Okay. So what if giving up your laptop or mobile phone meant that somebody could have a cardiac pacemaker? Would you give it up then? No. Yeah, perhaps. Not everybody. Okay, so quite a few of the um, scarce resources that go into manufacturing the mobile devices that we use on a daily basis also go into manufacturing um, mobile healthcare devices that are... Um, really central to, to healthcare. So as a healthcare practitioner, myself and colleagues, we're interested in health and well-being, but we're all also interested in uh, sustainable healthcare and patient care. And um, one of the uh, areas that we've been exploring is looking at sustainable procurement. So we've been looking at items that are very important and have a high impact on patient care looking at where those materials come from, how scarce they are, um, this is a lithium mine, um, and also looking at how far they travel. So currently some of the um, cotton swab swabs we use in healthcare travel all the way from China. I don't think they come on a Red Bull plane, but they come a long distance. And the first part of this work um, has just been published. It was funded by the European Pathway to Zero Waste, and it's now available um, to download, and they're um, out on our stall outside in the foyer. There's some uh, information about how you can access that report. We're also running a number of observation studies looking at how um, waste is managed in health and social care with a view to developing interventions to reduce waste and increase uh, reuse and recycling. Some colleagues are interested in food security and looking at how health and well-being can be improved through um, using community gardens um, and um, engaging in allotment gardening. And we're also working with Plymouth City Council, helping to evaluate their Stepping Stones to Nature project. And we're looking at how partnership working can improve access to green space. But ultimately, we need to train healthcare practitioners for the future, healthcare practitioners who will be able to practice not only now, but in a changing, incli in a changing climate. So building on the sustainable procurement work, we've developed scenarios that look at the potential impact on patient care of items that are used um, frequently and are very important in delivering patient care. And this is a study, a, a session that we did with, um, with our nursing students. But in the spirit of interdisciplinary uh, working, both teaching and research, we've now involved uh, research, uh, we've now involved 3D design students in these sessions. So we bring our nursing students together with 3D design students so that together they can look at the impact of these items and they can start to think about uh, developing sustainable solutions for future healthcare. Thank you.